All right, guys, we got to stop with this Canelo versus Crawford ordeal. This is a lose-lose all the way for Canelo, okay? If he fights Crawford at 168, if he knocks him out, they're going to say, oh, he's too small. If he goes the distance, oh, Canelo is done. Yeah, I can't believe he let a guy from two, from three weight classes jump up and beat him or go the distance with him. Or if he even loses to Crawford, which... I have my theory on. He will. It's all. It's a lose lose. A hundred percent win. Win or loss for Crawford. Canelo needs to avoid this like the plague. I don't even like him fighting Jamel because even if uh, Canelo knocks out Jamel in the third round with the vicious body blow, which is my prediction, my early prediction, <laughs> they're gonna say, "Oh well, he fought a guy much smaller." Canelo is the kind of fighter because he's the face of boxing. Who will never, ever, ever get the benefit of the doubt. Okay? Even if he would have knocked out Bivol, people would have had excuses for that. Oh, boy, then he's ducking this guy. That's where I went to. So, for Canelo, he needs to avoid Crawford. I even think he needs to call off his fight with Jamel. And and just stick to guys naturally at 168 or continue at 175. Next, for Crawford. Guys... All his fights have been at 147 or smaller. Okay? There is a difference between getting punched by a guy 147 or sparring with a guy at 154 and lower. There's a difference between that and a guy who is a natural 168 and at times has knocked out champions at 175. He went the distance with Bivol at 175. And you think Crawford is going to knock out Canelo? And from a guy that from one fight to the next goes 21 pounds? Guys, we got to be realistic about this. Let's just start thinking about it. Let's take it. I know we want that fantasy match. I want that fantasy match. But let's let Crawford naturally get there. Okay? Let him get there. Let him do 154 for a few years. Retain the belts. Defend them for a while. Go to 160. Take out whoever the next boogeyman of 160 is going to be. Whether it's Jamal. And then, maybe, if Canelo is not aged out. Or even Crawford. I even think Crawford's older than Canelo. Maybe they'll do one of those uh, Logan Paul Mayweather fights. Or Connor versus Mayweather. There you go. Uh, fantasy fights where it's just two retired guys going after each other. Because you know what, guys? It's a lose-lose situation for Canelo. There's nothing that he benefits from besides the money. So that is my thoughts, guys. Go ahead and like us and subscribe to Stick and Move Podcast on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. We're available on Spotify under the Stick and Move Fighting Podcast. So I appreciate everything. All right, guys. And thank you all very much.